Hey, everybody, what's going on? Rob Cestrino back here after episode number 10 of Deal or No Deal Island. And a big episode to talk about tonight as the final four is set. And a big player goes out of the game. We'll talk about it all here with the queen of Deal or No Deal podcasting. It's Jenny Autumn. Jenny Dandy. Dandy. Rob, I am wearing my money green money tonight green. because I was so inspired by Kamari and Ben's. Uh, yes. No, I'm here for the fashion. Um, but uh, I almost felt like I should have switched to to the black because uh, sad. The funeral of I Aaron know. tonight. I, I I felt stressed no matter how this was going to end. Again, this is the second week in a row of Dondi where I'm like stressed watching it and i will also say we can get to it tears were shed all right tears mm. were shed i, I cried this. yeah dondi made me cry tonight okay mm -hmm. so you laugh you'll again, cry yep okay this show evokes feelings feelings all the feels tonight yeah. of course man <laughs> with a big exit interview tomorrow uh be sure to check out aaron talking with recap kickback zone Chappelle. Dundee! Listen, listen, I am so sad to be talking to Aaron, but also very excited. I think I'm a fan. I think I'm a fan of him. He's a great reality TV character. You know, like gameplay aside, whatever you want to say about, like, oh, he's bad in challenges, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Your character is welcome here, Rob. We'll you know, never forget we him. Do. We'll never no, forget him. Never. One of the stars I mean, of, this, just, of this season. Weren't you just saying that this was your guy? You, I feel like in our last podcast, you were you were manifesting the Aaron win, and you were all in on Aaron, and you had me believing. Um, and <sighs> I thought we were heading down that path tonight in this episode, where it's like he's going to slay the dragon, he's, he's going gonna to take betray the shot. Rob, and then th it's going to happen. And I can't believe he got the invite for supper. Listen. I he might, he might not get another supper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, well, but, 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 yeah, but but it didn't happen. It didn't. He didn't have to make. And uh, <laughs> you know, I like. I'm sure if you're some of these other people, like uh, like uh, Miranda, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, that that got asked, like, so uh, if it was gonna be, if it, if it went your way tonight, who is it? Who are you gonna yeah. take out? We know yeah. Chappelle. We got to get to the bottom of that tomorrow. I have to know. I have to. Mm -hmm. uh, this episode was such a roller coaster of emotions because, yes, I, I said it. I was rooting for Aaron. It's fine. I, I The guy was so rootable. He just was. But I've also pointed out several times that Aaron cannot be trusted. And I was like, you know, y'all, I feel like we talked about this last week. I was like, I feel like we're not giving him enough credit. Give him, give him the gun. Let him slay the dragon. Let him take out his biggest target. It's right there. Okay. He he takes out the biggest target. He wins the game. What if he? What if that happens? We we have to hoist this man into the air and say like, you did it. You took out one of the biggest. Was like, he going to do it? Was he going to do was it? Was he going to do it? Yeah. And we'll, 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 Chappelle will ask him tomorrow. But it's just Chappelle. All right, lock it in tonight. Deal or no but, deal. He he. Okay okay. Hear me hear me out. He was gonna do it, but to, but in the exit interview, he's not gonna admit it. He's not gonna admit it. Okay, mm -hmm. exit interviews I've, are not canon. He was my guy was going to do it. Okay, because here's the thing, Rob saw him. He's like, damn, I think I think he might have I think he might have smartened up. Every he said at the beginning, every time I tell him to take me out quickly, and they never do. And here we are. I'm like, okay. Aaron, you're in a unique position. Most people, when it gets down to this point, and Boston Rob's right there, he's not a he's not available to be targeted. But Aaron, it's right there. Yes, this other alliance is after you, but though that alliance doesn't matter if you can't get past the big boss, if you can't get past uh Mr. Cooper himself, you know. And so I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, you got a Bowser is right there. We got to the castle, you rescued the princess. Her name was Alyssa. Aaron, slay the Alyssa's dragon. Card. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't ever get an answer. And I, I would love to have seen Aaron in that position because I think that's where reality stars are made. Being able to, to make the hard decision to pull a Steve Moses and cut Vanessa. Like, you know what I'm saying? Those are the moments that we look for in our good players. But yeah, I somehow the Grinch's heart grew like two sizes. <laughs> and I was like, 
but Boston Rob and him are really friends, and I don't want them to cut him. Oh my God, what if they're not going to be friends anymore? I mean, he just said he didn't have any more room for friends, and now he's got Aaron on his friendship. He can he can kick somebody else off his friendship roster. Him and him and Sandra ain't that cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you might, so I was just like, damn, you're really gonna cut him and not be friends. I kind of started rooting against Aaron at some point. Like, I don't want you to cut your friend. So that would hurt. Yeah, this might have been the, okay. been no, the best case scenario. No, we need the Rob and Aaron giant heads on uh, uh, yeah, next season. Next season, uh, they'll yeah. go to the island of the islands. Okay, Jenny, yeah. you, I feel like on this panel, are mm -hmm. the most tapped in to Aaron. Okay. Uh, okay. That. You, you, even going back to our days of talking about on the on the RHAP Rewind, some of the shows that you've watched in the past, I feel like you have a particular skill set to be able to be the Aaron Whisperer. You think you think that? Uh, yeah, I think I don't know. Do you do you think that? Are you saying I'm an Alyssa? Is that what you're saying? I uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. I think you have yeah, some Alyssa energy, Princess Card. I mean, I know that I like if I were playing this game with Aaron, like I I would adore him and I would also be working with him. So I, I can definitely see that. I so here's the thing. We got so many confessionals from Aaron, especially, you know, the ones right right leading up to temple where it sounds like he's like he's ready to take the shot he knows what he has to do like he doesn't really respect stephanie and amy and how they're playing but he's like they're right i have been blindly loyal and i'm not a manipulative backstabbing person in real life but sometimes this is what you have to do in the game now so so he's saying all of these things and i'm like okay he's he, we've got these confessionals so he must really really be considering it and he's clearly very emotional through it however the one thing i did think about while watching how the the game went down at the temple it seemed like stephanie and amy had very little faith that aaron was going to do it so either aaron was fully keeping his cards to his chest and not yeah. letting them know how how sure he was about making the shot and he was just doing this all internally or because I just thought like, wouldn't they have been a little bit more confident if, if Aaron yeah. had actually gone to them and said, Hey, I'm going to do it. That's a pretty astute observation. Stephanie you, in Rob. the banker's <laughs> temple uh, does say, okay, well, if Aaron, uh, if he, if, if he survives this, like, uh, or, you know, uh, or if he does goes out here, I'm going to have, I'm sorry. Stephanie basically said that it was going to be her if Aaron won that, correct? Mm -hmm. That she that she said that in confessional. And at Temple, I feel like something changed at that point. Right. She seemed very like sure she was going. The, the the vibe was down on her. And Rob did not seem particularly desperate at the uh and and, and maybe you know Rob just uh, didn't want to like uh, tip his hand too much. But I kind of feel like that if. Rob had his back to the wall as uh, we were led to believe he may have. I kind of feel like that he is, you know, pressing this a little bit harder. What do you think, Chappelle? I don't know. Because I don't know if you want to spook Aaron, right? Because Aaron, mm -hmm. of course, you want you want Aaron to feel good about the decision he's making. Because logically, yeah, it makes total sense to cut Boston Rob here. But Boston Rob is trying to appeal to his heart. So if he starts to get very, very desperate... You know, Aaron's like, but don't you want me to do well in the game? You know, at some point it starts to feel like, okay, you are you want me to choose you over me at this point, you know? And I think you can't push that too much. I think you kind of have to let Aaron come to it and look at you at, over there in this in the corner, kind of like somberly accept, accepting your fate that you trust him, right? Because if you don't trust him, why should he trust you? So I think, I think he's trying to kind of like lure him, him in with a soft head as opposed to being like no Aaron you got to listen it's me and you yeah. blah 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 because it is the final four there's not really much Rob can do for you at this point anyway at some point it looks like each of you are going to have to be in a stand on your own um so he's literally just appealing to yes you might lose to me but wouldn't you rather it be me you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying <laughs> and um and i think that's hard to project without it sounding so self-serving i yeah. think that Rob um 
had to have felt at least somewhat comfortable. I think he know, knew that there was a chance, but I think that if he felt like that, it was the odds were against him that Aaron was more likely going to betray him. Like, I, I really do think that he would have been uh, leaning on Aaron harder. Uh, that I, I just don't think that Rob is the kind of person who would play it passively if he felt like that there was a real danger that he was going to be the person to be taken out. Look, I don't want to put we, on my, I was, go ahead, Jenny, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I, all I was going to say was like, we, we might not have gotten a chance to see where he would have like, you know, if, if Aaron makes a good deal there, that might've been the moment where Rob's panic mode kicks in and he, uh -huh. you know, yeah, starts, a, starts an engagement with Stephanie. So it's like an, a, a way to kind of have her, you know, shoot herself in the foot and for him to really show Aaron, like, you're going to make a bad decision here if you like, so it might just not have even gone to that point. He was kind of just sitting back and being like, let's just see how this game plays out. And I, I'll know when I look at his face, because Aaron is very obvious. Like I, like I, you know, he's, I, I think he's just so, you know, genuine that he doesn't, he doesn't lie well to people's faces and he often de like deflects to tell the truth. Um, and so I really do think that it Rob was kind of holding back and waiting to see what actually happened here. And we might've seen him kick into high gear if yeah. Aaron had made a good deal. All right. Now in fairness to Boston, Rob, he's kind of been thrown under the bus by Stephanie in this episode or going back to the last episode when, uh, Stephanie was telling her lies about how Rob was saying to target Nick and Rob was also saying to target Aaron. Now new information. Do Yes. Do we, think, added to that. Right, do we think that Aaron uh, ends up buying this or is he looking at Rob as a target just because that he, he realizes that Rob is the biggest threat to win or is any part of him then saying, oh, I can't trust Rob anymore. Rob said to target me. Um, I think Stephanie has proven in this episode that she is not a great liar. You know, I think everybody of, of the final five, they were all looking at each other and deep down they were all like, I mean, they were saying it in passing, like, I don't believe her. I, you know, at some point her She's story was just Amy. so convoluted. Like, yeah. Like Amy's like, bro, she lying. Jordan, like, it's obvious that she's lying. Like there's uh, Rob knows she's lying because he knows what he didn't, what he didn't say. So it'd be absurd for Aaron to really be like, well, maybe Stephanie's not lying. Like, like even 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 Amy don't believe it, you know. And so I think that I think that maybe there might be a tiny inkling of that, but for the most part, it's still Boston Rob sitting right there with his head just like on the guillotine. And it's like you gotta you have to be able to make the move because if you lose this game in the final two, people are gonna say, "Hey, you dumb dumb, why didn't you take the move?" You know. Uh, I feel like Rob was actually. I think he might have felt like he was in danger because there were moments and they were cut. Uh, like you know, cut we cut away from them very quickly. But there are definitely moments where Rob looks like almost like teary eyed talking to Aaron on the beach. Like, hey, bro. Like, uh, he's like, so Aaron, I don't have anything to worry about, right? And Aaron's like, uh, maybe. I say that. And yeah. Rob, well, Rob said, <laughs> maybe. What the hell is maybe? And he's like, bro, we did not do this. Like, you could see the passion. Yeah. Um, and and we have seen him take passive uh approaches when his back is against the wall before. Uh, Rob, give me a, a Boston Rob impersonation. He's talking to Jerry Manthe. It's heroes versus villains. Uh, it's Jerry and coach. It's Rob. He's right there. Does he go with? Does she go with Russell? You know, you've heard you've heard that conversation. He's kind of like Jerry. It's us, baby. Come on, you know what to do, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's it a good point. Out. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing is, like, if if you if you are relying on your relationships and the things that you've built, like the foundation you have built with someone, like. And you're worried that that person's starting to feel comfortable about the idea of going back on it. The best thing you can do is, is reaffirm how strong you feel about that. Because especially if, if his strategy here is to appeal to Aaron's emotional side, the it, it could be too dangerous to get um, too like reactionary and panicky and like, well, like, and he, we did still see a little bit of that, like, you know, speckled in, in his behavior through this episode. But I think that he really, he's like, I have to step back and just show that, like, 
hey, you're my guy. We're going to ride this out together. And I trust you. And you're going to win tonight. And we're going to take her out. We're going to ride off into the freaking sunset together. Like that Boston shows brains. Like, I'm not questioning you. Like mm -hmm. you're literally telling me that you're questioning things. But I'm not going to validate that by freaking out. I'm going to say, hey, you're having a moment of questioning what's going on here. I know this is solid. We are solid. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, let's just do this. Let's just yeah. finish the job. Well, mm -hmm. I think the piece of information that Rob is missing, and I don't know if Aaron ever gives it to him, is that Stephanie told Aaron that Rob was targeting him. So I think from Rob's mind, I think he feels like a yeah. little bit of like, hey, Where's this coming from? Why, 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 why are you being like this? Uh, like I, I don't you. know if Aaron ever <laughs> tells him. Yeah. Like I think he says, like, we didn't hey, see it. Aaron, you're not, you're not getting any smart ideas, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. you're not thinking about, you know, you don't know, you're not having any doubts, right? Um, yeah, he doesn't to, to let him know what the issue is. Mm -hmm. so, and I, I think, think, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, I was just, I was just gonna say that. Um, I hope that Aaron thought logically about what Stephanie was doing and didn't actually believe any of this. Like, I do think that all, most of Aaron's hesitation on Rob was just him kind of like realizing how close to the end he was, he was. And that the fact that he, he can't, he probably can't beat Rob at the end. Um, but think about it. Aaron has been working so closely with Rob and knows that, um, Rob probably was never targeting Nick. So when Stephanie starts off just saying, oh, yeah, Rob Rob was trying to get me to go after Nick. And then suddenly the, the next day, the story gets a new piece. And now it's oh, also Aaron. Like you have to be Aaron and think and think logically here being like, I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking about Nick in the first place. And now Nick is gone. And she's adding me into the picture. Like you, at a certain mm -hmm. point, you have to say she's looking to any other person that might be an opportunity to eliminate someone and making sure that it's Rob and not her. I I have faith in my guy Aaron that he would have seen that. Um, but we don't ever see Aaron and Rob talk about what Stephanie said about uh, Aaron. So I don't think that he ever confronted Rob about it. Let's set up from the beginning of the episode. Okay. After the very poll or a lot of tension in the temple uh, last episode um, that Rob confronts Amy about uh, that. He never said Nick was the target. He never said Amy was a target. I, uh, Rob is not saying that he ever said anybody uh, was a target from this group. He ends up leaving. The girls are all talking to Aaron, uh, and they ask him, uh, was Rob coming for Nick? Um, he, uh, does not have any information on that, but Stephanie is trying to tell Aaron, you know, Rob said he was coming for you. Yeah. He's it was, it was the way Stephanie started to craft this lie as she was saying it. It's like, you could hear the wheels turn and she's like, um, yeah, Rob was coming for Nick. And then also Aaron, he said that you wouldn't be a good choice either. And he, she's like, he's like, a good choice for what? And she's like, to be partnered within the game. It's like, what? Yeah, she wants she wants me to be her. He wants me to be her his number one, not you. So yeah, we're gonna vote you out, and then I'm gonna be his tight too. That's what he said. And Aaron's like, damn, um, that's a plot twist. And, like, uh, and why are you I, telling me this? Yeah, like super what? believable stuff here. <laughs> right. You're like, so you mean to tell? So he's like, so let's just be clear. Since day one, I, and I've talked to this man a lot. He hated he's hated you since the day we got off the uh, off the jeeps. But now he's thought, okay, I'm no use to him, and he would much rather be with you. I, I guess. I mean, if Stephanie, I think from Stephanie's point of view, if she's telling him like, Aaron, you're useless to this man in the challenge. Did you see how mad he was uh, earlier? Like when we did the last thing, like when you when you couldn't get the walkie talkie to work. He's tired of you as an ally. He's ready to flip on you. He doesn't want to use you anymore. He's gonna cut you. He's gonna leave you behind. Blah blah. And so maybe that seeped in, like seeped in. But it just sounded like a bad lie in general. Like at, at the final four, Rob's like, "Yeah, let me switch up number one allies right now." Even though he's still in the game, they'll what, never what see you, it coming. Would, yeah, it'd be the, the 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 what is it? The uh, like a, a crime that like they would be untraceable. Perfect, you know what I'm saying? Perfect crime. Perfect crime. Yeah, yeah. there's like yeah, Stephanie, you're my new Aaron. 
at the final five. It's like, why do you need a new Aaron at the final five? You should be trying to beat both of them anyway. So I just felt like it wasn't a great lie. Yeah. Well, go ahead. I was just gonna say, well, also because like Amy is the person that asks Stephanie, like mm-hmm. if Rob was really going after Nick, because yeah, again, yeah. she only hears that from Stephanie and Stephanie, like the way that she says yes was so like hesitant and mm-hmm. just screamed lie. I mean, yes, mm-hmm. I'm going in with the bias of knowing that she is telling like she is telling a lie, but it just felt very very obvious so i think at that point Can you like, give us Aaron, the the stephanie yes it well it was kind of just like yeah yeah mm-hmm. i think yeah. it was something like that you sure definitely not like You're sure a- rob said get rid of nick and, and aaron that's what he said she's like yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Mm-hmm. okay Yep. It's like Isn't she had to think about it. She's like, yeah. I, I don't know if that was verbatim, but it was definitely not a yeah. like confident, absolutely like this is fact. Um, and I do think that while I am, we do have all the information here. We know she's lying. So of course we're saying like, oh, you're, you're poorly lying. We see as the episode unfolds, I think that it was like, actually just bad lying because yeah. amy starts to to sniff even amy's out. like i don't yeah. know that's, and that's not bad that's where night owl passed. those are the last Woo-hoo! two original night owls and i think you know there's a there's a bigger predator out there that's ready yeah. to just like all right enter jordan who i think i don't know starting to feel like this is jordan's game to win yeah are I you getting that last week I, yeah that's what i'm all right, it's Jordan. getting close to the most palatable, and like it's almost it's <laughs> rising. Like, yeah, your stock is rising. Yeah. Um. So okay, Jordan comes to Rob. She thinks that uh, Stephanie is lying about things because Stephanie is lying. You know, everyone like, <laughs> I, like I said, everybody can see it. I, I, I think I. So here's the thing: I don't blame Stephanie for trying because at this you point, try you gotta you try something. All. Right, you have to try something. This is, honestly, I couldn't ask for better gameplay from any of these people, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. Stephanie's lie was bad, but the idea that you need to be, like, getting some type of confusion in Aaron's head about whether or not he should be moving forward with Boston Rob, there's even a moment where they all look at him dead in the eye and say, hey, can you beat Boston Rob in in a final two? Yes or no? And Aaron's like... Damn, when you put it like that, yeah, like regardless of if this man's loyal to me or not, don't I want to win the game? And Jordan is the only one who's like, man, y'all kind of, y'all really on him. Like, you know, y'all kind of get, you know, get off his neck a little bit, let him breathe. And so Jordan is really kind of like, all right, how can I navigate this without um, making me a target? Because I, she likes that the two f- sides are fighting. The girls need to be fighting for Jordan to, to keep sliding under the radar. Um, but she, that means she has to start running information back to Boston Rob. And he now, Trust her with 0.5. What was it? A half yeah. of all right. Well, yeah, let's do the updates on Power okay. Rankings. All right, time to update the odds on the scoreboard of trust. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jordan yeah. is up from zero to one point five percent. Yeah. <laughs> percent. Yeah. <laughs> He's suffering out here. Okay. This yes. Is... Okay. <laughs> uh, update. Trust. Amy is at zero. Yeah. And Stephanie, no change. Stephanie uh, in the stock watch has fallen very sadly. <laughs> Stephanie is down to been downgraded to negative infinity. Negative <laughs> infinity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I've ever heard the, the number negative infinity before. Negative infinity. Percent. <laughs> negative <laughs> infinity. <laughs> Uh, uh, percent. <laughs> you can't forget percent. that this is percentages we're working on. Negative infinity percent. <laughs> <laughs> this is a math show. Uh, Dog, how, how did, did I, I end up here? here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jenny are both like, yeah, and how? Negative know? infinity <laughs> percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, but Rob, man. he still trusts Aaron, but we see him. T- you didn't but, get a number but, from him on but, Aaron. Well, but Rob says to Aaron before the excursion, hey, don't get any crazy ideas, okay? And, and Aaron says, well, I'm not going to flip on you. Mm. That's what you think. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not going to flip on you. Okay. Who said anything about flipping? I was like, I didn't say anything about flipping. 
I, I literally yeah. was talking about this Learning challenge. He was back. like, <laughs> you need to get your head in the game, Aaron. I need you to I need you to focus on this. And Aaron's like, focus on not voting you out. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm definitely whoo. Is it hot in here? Anybody got some tea? Ben Kamari, you know, like you just <laughs> you could just see the nervousness like exuding from his skin. I know Rob was sick. Rob looks so fed up. Y'all, I know y'all know I'm an Aaron stand. But I was not wrong. Aaron is <laughs> absolute awful ally for Rob because he, Rob at this point normally has the people who are like, at this point, it's Boston Rob and me to the end. And I'm just blindly loyal. And I'm about to go hand this man a bunch of money or I'm going to marry him. One of the two things are going to happen because <laughs> this is where we are in the game. And Aaron's the only person who's gotten this far who's like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, what if I win the game? What about that? And Rob's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. What, what happened? Steph, God damn it, Stephanie, this is your fault. So I, I was I was enjoying seeing Boston Rob kind of try to tell us like yeah maybe Aaron should be coming after me but dang I want to win too right like don't he like me are we friends what? well the emotional knew. appeal is the Boston Rob appeal now Jenny I guess because he's a softened he's a dad he's Papa. he like he looks at you know some of these some of these things differently and he, I don't think he's taking it as deep as he he did when he was in the thick of it when he was younger and he was like a little bit more scrappy um and i'm not this is not to say i mean he's still running the table he's still he's mm -hmm. still impressing us like doing final four. like we're at final four exactly but to to aaron's defense i remember that first episode and aaron did not blind like i think that he got to a point where you know in the middle of the game he was so like his connection with Rob, he was riding really hard for him. And he even says it himself, he was blindly loyal to him at points. But he knew from early on what Rob's reputation was. He was familiar enough with him as a player that he wasn't going to necessarily just be a, like a brainless follower of his. Um, and it's so, so we kind of always knew that he had this in him. Um, and it was just because of the way things sh shook out and how things really ended up with like, you know, him and Alyssa and Rob kind of becoming like the other and then Alyssa gets taken out. And then that's really all that Aaron's got left at this point. Um, I think he, he starts like really clinging to that emotional connection he's made with Rob and Rob's been looking out for him. Um, and I think that we're seeing we're get to the end of the game and and Aaron is also waking up on his own and being like, hey, you remember you said that mm -hmm. like when this game started, you either take you either take out Boston Rob or he takes you out like you are aware of the fact that working with him is dangerous, but you chose to do the devil, you know, strategy here. We're getting down to it. When do you pull like. Like, when do you wake up and do something? So that's why I'm still like, he could have done it tonight. Like, he might have done it. Um, yeah. But I think that just the way that the alliances shook out in the bulk of the game, it was hard for him. Like, there, what would he, he couldn't have been the person to take out Rob, and he didn't need to be the person. Um, mm. And he found himself, like, in this position in this episode where he had to have been the person to do it. Everyone was expecting him to do it. Um, I think that Aaron does so much better in this game if he, if someone else had just been the person that took the, it took the shot. And there were so many other people that could have done it. Like it, that, that's why it was so stressful to watch and be like, I can't believe we're gonna be in a situation where Aaron is the one that ultimately ends Rob here. Like, heart beating out of my chest. But I think he's always had it in him. He just needed to wait. Like, he just the way the things that worked out. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question for our Rob. Yes. Mm. If um, if this is Alyssa and not Stephanie, does Aaron Ooh. flip on Rob here? Yes. If this is Alyssa <laughs> and uh, Alyssa and not Stephanie. So, uh, so not Alyssa, Stephanie's uh, gone. Uh, so, wait, but okay, Stephanie but, makes a bad deal, oh, oh. gets eliminated, let's say. Uh, but, but hold on, hold on. So that Alyssa, Alyssa has told him that Rob said that he was saying his name. Yeah, he believes Rob, it one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. One, one, yeah. One, there's not a doubt in his mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if Alyssa, if gone. Alyssa survives to this point, Rob's yeah. dead. Rob's dead. Like Aaron's in Unless there. Unless Aaron still makes the bad deal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he would have gladly lost to Alyssa. 
He wouldn't oh, have yeah, ever been talking. Like if Stephanie was like, "Oh, Alyssa's been saying your name." No, nope, not a chance. Nope, no way. Nope. No nope. way. So and, let and, her say it. It's fine. Yeah, Amy's <laughs> like, "Aaron, Alyssa's gonna be you." No, 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 no. no. We made a let final her. two. That's my princess mm -hmm. card. Yeah, I was just, I, but I was just thinking about it while Jenny was talking because Jenny was making some good points that Rob being here is bad for Aaron's game because Aaron is who, what people are looking at as a goat in the final two. I want him in the end with me so I can beat him. So Amy would have taken him to the end. Nick would have taken him to the end. Stephanie would have taken him to the end. Aaron going up against the banker this round was the worst case scenario because nobody was going to target Aaron. Nobody. He was just going to just skate to the end. Mm -hmm. He should have listened to Boston Rob. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, you could lead a horse to water, Chappelle. I mean, and Boston Rob had the horse by the neck and was like, "Drink, damn it, drink!" You know, yeah. mm, I, I hate water. The shenanigans. <laughs> I hate water. I hate the banker. The shenanigans that went on during this excursion, Rob, were just like <laughs> it was just like Boston Rob just like running smack into a wall over and over again. Like, what the hell are you doing? And Aaron's yeah. like. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want me to I do? did like this excursion, though. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, it was fun. I like this one, too. Yeah. Let's talk about this excursion in this episode. Um, and I, okay, look, I know a lot of people feeling like, oh, they just like uh, are making this game. So Rob gets to the end. Well, I thought it was a bold decision to take immunity away here for whoever gets the highest case because it seemed like, okay, when I saw the challenge, get on the jet ski, go out there. I'm like, all right, no, I, th I think he Rob's got, got this. this. But they no, no immunity for anybody here in this spot. So uh, really, that was a big blow to Rob. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said I said I, I was about ready to to be on Team Riggit for Rob. And mm -hmm. uh, the show said, we're not doing that. <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> and I, it, and I said, I respect you. <laughs> he still had a really good chance of getting what he wanted. Because, I mean, you would think, okay, Rob has two people who are willing to give him the shot at the banker. A lot of people are going to go for the highest amount so that they can make the decision, get whatever game advantage, or take the personal offer. Rob is coming in saying, I just want to go up against the banker. I'll put all my pieces on my partner. They'll put all their pieces on me. And he's been making a good relationship with Jordan. So maybe, just maybe, you know, the way the dice rolls, you know, he might catch a couple other, a couple more barbels. Only to find out that his number one ally kind of snaked him and was like, what? Oh, you... You you wanted the marbles? Oh, you wanted to go up against the banker. Oh wow. Oh my God. Rob. Rob's like, stop playing with me. Stop. Stop playing with me. I done done this. Stop playing with me. I've done this too many times, Aaron. You know I'm not dumb. You know I see what you're doing. Aaron's like, what, what do you mean? What, I, I'm sorry. I, just, I, I wanted know. to be in the middle. I I was that good to, good to be in the middle? Yeah. It's like, stop it. Now all of a sudden you don't understand the strategy of the game, Aaron. Because well, it was a half measure, too, right? Like yes. The second, then you end up the tying. second lowest. Yeah. yeah. If he had just committed to the plan, then Rob would have been up against the baker. Rob's yeah. not cutting Aaron here. It's just right. not happening. Yeah. I do feel like that at this moment in the episode, I feel like that there was the highest percentage chance that Aaron was turning against Rob, especially at the point where Aaron goes out on the jet ski. I'm oh, sorry, when Rob goes out on the jet ski and they're all watching and he's taking so long and they're uh, the, the three women are like, you see? You see, this is look, look at what he's doing. He's figuring it out. He's trying to get the most power. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know what? He wants Classic to be in the Rob. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Like, I really feel like of any point in the episode, this is when he was the most out on Rob. Can I defend Rob here? Because <laughs> please, <laughs> please, of course. They said so. So Joe says, you know. The money, it's not just time that's going to run out. The money is going to go down the longer you take. There was no context given, at least in, in what I noticed, on how long, like, it seemed that what ended up happening was for every minute, 500K seemed to drop from the $10 million mm -hmm. uh, dollars that was on the on the screen or whatever. Um, Rob was the first to go, which was decided by... Stephanie, which all, that was also wild. Joe says, Stephanie, because you survived being in the bottom two last week, you get to choose the order. Well, what? Why? Mm -hmm. If we're in a different, we're in a whole different episode now, Joe. Why is Stephanie getting power from something that happened in the last episode? Sure. Okay. She chooses Rob to go first. Rob didn't know, like, he's, he's the first person there. He's got the most options. 
it would make sense for him to take the longest to figure out like what the thing is because he's got like the the most things to consider here and i don't think he knew how long how much money was going to be decreasing in his like time that he's taking so they're all being like see how long he's taking see see i think whoever would have went first would have been also doing taking a while because they probably had no context for how much money was being lost in that time also what if you have time blindness okay so i'm just saying <laughs> this mm -hmm. this to me was like everyone just like oh you see oh he just doesn't care he only cares about himself he's just letting that money run down rob has no freaking idea how much money is running down in this moment mm -hmm. he has no idea he's just yeah. reading the rules and making his decision and i guarantee you aaron would have taken just as long if not longer if he had gone first yeah and he had to kind of figure out what they were doing and like uh had to think it through and like all right let me just decide how i want to handle this and so yeah thinking about think, what people will do after yeah. him based on what he does like i don't know you have to set the tone yeah okay so he sets the tone takes the smallest uh case with the most power puts uh seven votes on to aaron uh who goes out next amy <clears throat> who gets a pretty sweet amy yeah. personal offer i mean Eight like uh 75k just to take the 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 suitcase and have the least votes for what's gonna happen here. This was such a no-brainer. Yeah, it but it, it shows you kind of what position people are in because Rob could have taken that case, but it wouldn't mm -hmm. have behooved him. Now that that's a that's a conversation that we almost graced right past. There is a world where Rob just takes 75k and says, All right, bye. You know, like uh, somebody else mm -hmm. go up against the baker, you know, like uh Sure, fuck, I tried. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, whatever. You you almost got me, but I got seventy five thousand yeah. dollars. That's a lot of money. But out of anybody that's here, he is the person who is the most. Like we talked about, like for Dawson, okay, one hundred k or a shot. Like like, look, you know, I'm sure Rob's not going to sneeze at seventy five k, but seventy five k probably doesn't change his life. Whereas mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, eight million might. Mm -hmm. And he's running the numbers, like we've been saying. At this point, he's like, listen, mm -hmm. uh, if I don't take this, like, that doesn't mean that I'm for sure gone here. Like, my chances of surviving this round anyway are still okay. And and every second in this game longer that I last, the better my odds get. Like, he knows what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. um, the, the problem here is that he was going into this uh, excursion with an assumption that him and Aaron were on the same page. So he yeah. ran the math. He said, I'm going to put, I'm going to take the lowest, the most amount of votes, lowest case, put them on Aaron. And, you know, he's going to do the next less case and do, and put them on me and it's all going to work out. Uh, yeah. But he wasn't, him and Aaron were not on the same page. Mm -hmm. And potentially he had another ally because prior to this challenge happening, Amy's looking at him and saying, Hey, Right. You got a number one. You want a number two? And Rob says, oh, okay. Like he, he does what does he Who look like turning away any ally? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have it. Oh man, he's back. He's back. <laughs> um Boston Powers number is back. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, uh, I think that with Rob, yeah. let's say Amy is sincere in wanting to work with Rob. All she gotta do is throw him like one, one or two marbles. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like she has to mm -hmm. throw her lot. Like I gave yeah. all of mine to Rob. It's like no, nah, if she, if he, let's say she, there's a little bit of truth to it. All he needs is to luck up on one or two more, and then he gets that spot. And then we see that Amy isn't loyal to him. So I just think that he had some options in his mind yeah. going into that point. But have you ever heard anybody on any of these shows say like, "Hey, are you looking for a number two? <laughs> Maybe maybe uh, if people maybe, are going to Aqua yeah, Dump yeah, on Survivor, yeah, tiki, tiki Man, Tiki Man, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for number two. Yeah. Uh, but I've never heard anybody say like, "Hey, like I'll be your number two ally." Like I'm yeah. okay with being, like, like how mad I'll do be you, your side I, ally. And that is what, and that is what I criticize Rob for in this episode, where I was like, at what point do you, were you trust? Why would you trust Amy? Why would you trust hey. Amy in this situation? Mm -hmm. Like, it didn't hurt him Jordan. To, I to understand. Trust yeah like, when you've had the conversations you've had with jordan at this point where she they're they're talking on the beach and jordan's like she's lying and i know she's lying um 
Amy has been like Stephanie's right hand woman this like whole time. There are the two remaining original hootie hoos, and Ooh. I. I so, how is she suddenly just like being like, oh hey, let's work together? Like, I just was kind of surprised Rob didn't see through that sooner. I don't. I, I'm sure yeah. that he's in a position where he has to accept. He's saying any yes to everybody, deal right. For sure. Yeah. But it seemed to me that he was actually like weighing some validity on that, and I was like, you should have been so ready for this girl to be bsing you. Um. Because I, yeah, yeah, I, I think know. he was though. You yeah, know, I really think he's like head, one he was like, chance. thank you, yeah. Amy, and we know yeah. what he really meant. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I, you're probably right, but it did seem to me like a little bit like he was like, hey, hey, if we want to like make this deal, like that's good for me. Um, I don't know. He just needs one yeah, more. Week. This is one of those games where all you need you your your luck could change so yeah. much in just the in just one more episode because the, your biggest op could shoot themselves out of the game, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's like, yeah, everything could go wrong for you, but if Deal or No Deal Island goes wrong for whoever up against the banker, it doesn't matter. And we saw that in this episode. Okay, um, I gotta say, kudos to Aaron. I kind of thought Aaron and the jet ski was going to be a disaster. <laughs> I was really worried about our guy. I was like, uh, I hate the jet ski. Like, uh, you know, he doesn't like the ATVs. He did fine. He did. Re he did very well. Good yeah. job, Aaron. Action star, yeah. Aaron. I like that. Mm -hmm. Except that he comes back with a middle of the pack uh, briefcase. And Rob is like, are you kidding me? I told you. I told you. I told you. I was like, look, I've been telling y'all for weeks. I said, you got to watch my boy, man. He's got the eye of the tiger. He's like, look, Rob is a survivor, yes, but I can take him out. And uh, I think that was, like you said, Rob, this is the moment where he's probably the most out on Boston Rob, where he's kind of, he's entertaining the idea of, like, well, you know, I know I could do something that would benefit Rob, but if he goes, it doesn't hurt my chances. Yeah. And Rob instantly is like, oh, come on. After everything we've been through, this is what you're doing. He's like, what? 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 Is this wrong? What? He's like, come on. Well, that's the problem is like Aaron play, kind of pl playing dumb and like because Rob knows he's smart and Rob's like, yeah. I know how to count. Like, are, why are you trying to like pretend that it made sense for you to do what you did here? Like, you didn't even go for like a high case. You went from like not you didn't go either end of it like what is the argument for what you did here like i'm not stupid um yeah you know it, it's 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 tricky here uh and that's th these are the examples of Aaron at night, where... not last night <laughs> yes exactly. Boston Rob, the greatest hits i, yeah, I was waiting on, <laughs> yeah, I was we waiting on the, that one <laughs> i was waiting for Aaron to at some point be like Rob, I told you I would help you if I can. I would take care of you if I can, but I cannot. If you know, can. like it's just leaving him. But instead, he said, "Maybe." <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I'm like, "Damn it, Eric, right there!" Like, it's just it's twist the knife. You gotta hmm. listen. You only got a limited amount of time on reality TV. Play the game. Yeah, Rob has a new buzzword I've noticed too. What is um, it? twice in this episode, rotten. He oh, yeah, rotten. He oh, calls Stephanie, Stephanely Rodden, Aaron's Rodden. Rodden. <laughs> and then when when he says to Aaron, Aaron, after everything we've been through, and he's like, Rotten, Rotten. You know what? It was probably the bananas. So there was an uh, issue with the bananas that they the that was why they were rotten. Bananas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everything's banana, rotten at this point. Time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Stephanie's gonna go. She takes the three and a half million dollar case. She gives her votes to Amy, and Jordan is the last to go. What is Jordan going to do? It's a mystery. Uh, one million dollar bonus case added. Like, who cares? So what? Okay. Yeah, and yeah it was just because there were five of them left, and so we needed a sixth case on the big side of the board, yeah. and it was just such a nothing. I did burger. like the countdown clock, that was kind of cool. That but... was cool, but it was like, again, did they have any concept of? um how like the first person didn't i don't think knew i guess after everyone saw how what the increments were going down but this is another example stephanie is just like okay we need we need a uh, uh, a night owl in the bottom and she puts all of her her uh marbles on amy and 
has not given <laughs> these two have not given Jordan any reason to feel really safe in how they brought her into this alliance. And and Stephanie just leaves thinking, oh yeah, J- Jordan's gonna know what to do. She's gonna she's gonna take as many marbles as she can. Also put them on Amy, and everything's gonna work out. Um, this, you can't expect this from people that you've clearly shown them that they are on the bottom. And we even hear it from Jordan in this episode where she recognizes, I'm three. I'm three in the Night Owls. So, like, Stephanie, you should not be expecting Jordan to do what you want to do here. She is going to make the move that keeps her in the middle. Put someone yeah. in there that's going to fire at each other. Like, let's keep the the numbers as even as possible so I can stay in that middle, baby. Jordan would be a hell of a big brother player. I mean, dear God, oh. she got she got this down pack, man. She, that floater and, and, queen, <laughs> right? Dis- disappear for the first eighty days, pop yeah. up at the end with a couple challenges, like uh, mm-hmm. Jordan yeah. Giesling, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Would she be in the episodes? Probably not Probably for not. a while. Probably but... not. But it's okay. You take that check home, Jordan. Take that check yeah. home. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. We got to get to our tie break. All right. Rob has seven votes. Aaron has seven votes. It's come down to Amy. Break the yeah. tie. We're just making up rules as we go. She had the highest yeah. case. Break the, the tie. highest case doesn't get doesn't get safety, but they do get a personal offer and they do get the power mm-hmm. to choose who's going to face the banker of the two. And now, it, this was just because they tied. Like it's yeah. ju- that's why she had to decide right there. It was like we have mm-hmm. to decide this right now because in other situations where you're deciding who goes against the banker they have until the temple to do, to make that decision no. <laughs> amy's like oh shit i gotta decide right now yeah she put it right on the spot and amy uh she had a chance to be loyal to rob and rob's like yep this will be the moment i know and it was he, she uh throws aaron into the bottom and, and that leaves amy a lot of outs aaron would probably go after stephanie you know whatever result like if he does win um, but then maybe there's a small chance where he goes after Rob. Regardless, Rob won't be going after Amy or Stephanie, and so that's a great move for Amy uh, mm-hmm. and a horrible move for Aaron. Why did you Why did you put yourself in this position? Yeah. All you had to do was let Rob be the guesser. He wasn't going to pick you, and even if he was, there's a good chance that everybody else would have too. So uh, you know, it's a tough tough spot to be in. Can I ask a question well, and he- tell me if this is like way too like galaxy brain? Is it possible mm-hmm. that Aaron was trying to play the middle in that uh, that he's trying to let Amy and Stephanie and Jordan think that he's kind of with them? Also wants Rob to think that he's with them, and so that he is not going to be, you know, uh, yeah. I guess he wants. To, does he want to play against the banker this time? But if somebody else was going up against him, that they don't wouldn't eliminate him. Is that possible? He should not I want mean, to play against the banker. He's in a good spot. There are so many people. I with guess their nobody guns wanted to take him out. Other. Yeah, and I don't vote. think Aaron yeah. wants to be responsible for taking out Rob because of his emotional connection and like you know he he intellectually understands that Rob is a hard for, person for him to beat. But I don't think that Aaron really wants to be the person responsible for it. What happens here, though, is they're talking about him in a way, and when I say they, I'm, I mean like mostly Stephanie and Amy, are talking about Aaron in a way that he has no agency of his own and he's just let Rob run his whole game and manipulate him. And like they're almost taking it to the point where you see Aaron push back where he's like, okay, it, it went from kind of like defending me and being like, hey, play your own game. Like you are more than capable to being like you have just been a puppet of Rob's the entire time and you have no mind of your own. You haven't been playing your own game. And he gets kind of defensive. Like they're they're kind of criticizing his, you know, going at his ego here being like, hey, you haven't done anything for yourself. And he kind of is, is like, uh, actually, I am playing my own game and I have I think I've played a pretty good game. Like. He doesn't like that approach. And you we hear him say when he goes to to pick his case, he says that he's not going to take the lowest case because he wants to prove that he's not being manipulated by Rob. Mm-hmm. But it's like right. he got in his head. 
they did and it's just like but he, not like not in a good way it's just i don't know i just i just it, it was I mean, it was tough to see it got him to screw up. I mean, it really did because there's no reason why Rob shouldn't have been going up against the banker here. Aaron should have been letting Rob take out one of Stephanie or Amy, whoever. Probably mm-hmm. Stephanie because he just got in almost like a shouting match with her not even 24 hours ago. Um, they they really did. They they got in his head and then he waffled because he's like, no, I have my own agency in this game. I'm making my own decisions. And so, but yeah, he had to step up for himself and say, hey, bro, like, stop saying that he's manipulating me. Like, I've been here the whole time. If anybody was manipulating well, you, it was it was Alyssa. Just be called, let's just call it what it that's is. That's fact. That's fact. Yeah. And he has a good defense no. here. Like, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> if if he doesn't want it to appear like he's just helping Rob win in this situation, when he rolls up and he's already got seven marbles in his own thing, and at this point he's the most likely person to face the banker then I think if you're Aaron, you have the defense of I I don't want to to risk myself going home. I don't want to play against the banker. Um, and I need to be putting marbles in another person's thing and that person isn't taking me out. And as much as I know you guys think that Rob's manipulating me, I know he's not taking me out. And so what is the biggest guarantee in me staying tonight? One, not going against the banker. And two, Rob going against the banker because either he makes a bad deal and goes out and then we all have a a more fair chance at this or he makes a good deal and he's taking out someone that's not me. Like you can explain that to these women and say, that's why I did what I did. It wasn't about helping Rob and playing his game. It was it was looking like at this point, the most likely person to face the banker was me. And I didn't want that to be me. So I put them in Rob's. Like that is a reasonable explanation there. And that's why it was like so hard to see him like not go for the move because he could have, he, he could have just actually played the middle better in that situation. Let Rob think that he was helping him and been like, Hey, I'm just going to like let this play out and then my hands are clean. Um, so that that was the, the part that I, I really struggled with because I was like, you are the person most likely to face a banker at that point when you come up. But just, he didn't know. He couldn't see the marbles, Jenny. You can't see them? No, no. that's why the, the reveal oh, is at the end. That's why but Rob he knows that that that's, but, but he, all, he also knows that Rob um, took the lowest case because they can yeah. see the case that they come back with. And he mm. knows that Rob is going to put they know that you can't put marbles in your own. So he knows yeah. that he's going to be giving them to Aaron. So even without right. seeing them, he knows that that's probably the situation. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you can't go and argue that to the women and be like, I just felt like Rob gave the marbles to me. They're going to be like, well, I mean, wh- but why would you feel I think that way? You could. I think you could yeah. say that because he's like, well, does he want one of the three of you to be the person in the bottom? He's obviously yeah. going to give them to me. And I don't want to be facing the banker. I just don't think he needs to appeal to the women at all. Like, just give the marbles to Rob and tell the women. Because the women want to take him to the end. They don't want to eliminate him. He's like, every time Amy looks looks up and Aaron walks by, all she thinks is, oh, yeah, I can beat him. I got him. I got him. There's nothing he can do to stop me. Like, all I got to do is give him to the end. Because eventually she's going to look at Stephanie and be like, I don't want to go up against Stephanie. Stephanie has proven that she is a uh, uh, cutthroat, as they say, on Deal or No Deal Island several times throughout the season. So, yeah, I don't. I think he should have just, you know, he tried, like you said, Jenny, it's a half measure. It really was kind of just like, I want to play the middle. It's like, you don't need to play the middle. You just need Rob shooting at them, them shooting at Rob, and that's essentially the middle. The only person who mm-hmm. probably would target Aaron would like Jordan, maybe, uh, you know, because she would know better Even than to take then, out. Yeah, exactly, because she that, would know better yeah. than to target the girls. So, yeah, and yeah. he just fumbled a little bit. I, you know, I damn, I, you know, I'm sad. This is my boy. It's just, I hate to see him go out like this. Mathematically, could he not have taken the next amount of, uh, like, the case that Rob expected him to take? put all of his marbles in in Rob's case or whatever and still had a chance without knowing what the others were going to do and what they would take there was still a chance that Rob wouldn't have um that he would like sorry, Rob wouldn't have been the one um against the banker cuz he could have been like well I thought that Stephanie maybe gave hers to Amy or I don't know like could he have mapped it, that out Ste- to say like Stephanie Stephanie and Amy would have both had to given all their marbles to Jordan. 
that would have given Jordan 14 right. marbles at that point. Or, but they would have had less. They would have had, yeah, because they would have had the yeah, most he, marbles. He knows right? at this point, because Amy comes back before Aaron goes, he knows mm -hmm. that she's only... Do they know the amount? Well, he doesn't though? know the rules. He doesn't know the rules until he gets out there. So he doesn't even know what they're doing. Like, it's not like but he gets like, out there and Amy went before him and he knows that Amy came back with the highest case. So he mm -hmm. would have known. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I just think that he had he had better outs to do a half measure there. And he instead kind of showed his cards to Rob mm -hmm. and also like still gave marbles to Rob, which the, the ladies would have been like then why would you do it that way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sucks. And then he's We're trying like, to get I him through I made a this. mistake. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I didn't Rob know. Said, if I put stop the playing with me. Stop it. Stop it. We've been talking. We've been doing this. This is the final five. Stop acting like you don't understand how this yeah. game is played, Aaron. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's yeah. like, I read the rules if upside down. If you can down. learn how to play Magic the Gathering, you don't know how to play <laughs> Deal and Deal Island. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm so Aww. excited for this exit interview. I have so yes. many questions for my boy. I hope he knows I'm a stand. I hope he doesn't think that I'm like, I mad hope he knows. He did too. Great. Yeah, no, I, I mean, think he knows. He knows yeah. we love him. Okay, so Amy has to make a decision, she has to choose between her number two ally or Aaron in this spot. And she says, It's the a person decision. she wants to beat, <laughs> tough decision. Uh, and um. It's interesting. Okay, Amy has to break the tie. Uh, Stephanie is saying, hey, pick Aaron. Uh, Aaron is saying, uh, hey, I'm a little worried. If Rob goes in, he's going to eliminate me because I made a mistake. Which I and don't Rob's know why like, he said that. Yeah. I was like, what? I would never do that. <laughs> yeah. I never. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I can beat you in the end, Aaron. I don't yeah. want you out of the game. But you're mad at me. Like, it made me sad because I'm yeah. like, I did he actually truly believe this or was like I I didn't really understand because I or was he justifying pre justifying what he was mm -hmm. going to do well, maybe that, where he was like, like it was a defense oh, move Rob's mad I thought if now, I, so yeah. I had to do it I have to take you out you're never gonna forgive me in this game and it's it but plays like, into what <laughs> Stephanie was saying too you know where Stephanie's saying like he wants to replace you with me so yeah if he cuts you right here me and him are a more formidable duo to Jordan mm -hmm. and Amy than you and him would be because you have keep dropping the ball what if there's a walkie-talkie challenge Aaron what is he gonna do with you so maybe it that's why matter like, anymore yeah <laughs> yeah it doesn't even like matter how anymore. how are you going to think that Rob could possibly be more mad at you than he is at 70 after we saw their interaction at the temple when Nick went mm -hmm, but yeah. so yep. that's why I'm like was this acting I just don't I don't but know. Stephanie is still like don't just do what he wants you to do Aaron yeah, he's doing it again. He's manipulating you. Rob's like, stop it. Stop it. Rob, it's you. You're the one trying to like, no, no, no. La, 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 la. I'm sorry. Can't hear you. Can't hear you over the sound of you manipulating your best friend in the game. It's like, stop mm -hmm. it. Stop yeah. playing with him. I know Rob and was fed up. This Well, and Aaron starts to get a little fed up here. This is what I was saying earlier where he's kind of like, hey, I'm he playing like my own game because they're kind of like treating him with kid gloves at this point. And like, mm -hmm. this happens a lot to him. And this is like part of why I just like, I, I get like protective of Aaron, We're but not in like a, not, but no, in a way where I'm like, don't tr like the way that you talk about him <laughs> in front of him as if he's like, lesser than you is so frustrating and yeah. in your way of like trying to um lift him up you're almost kind of like infantilizing him mm -hmm. and so i was kind of like yes aaron like tell them like actually no i am playing my own game here um it's just that his actions in other situations like situations don't line up with that where it's like you don't have to prove anything to these people like just let your actions speak for yourself for themselves um but i like to see him fight back here and that was another reason why i was so frustrated with how stephanie acted in the last temple where she like dug the knife she knew it's she had to have known that part of why aaron was so emotional about the Alyssa thing because we heard him say I feel bad that I didn't defend her. And then when he kind of speaks up to Rob's defense at the end of the last episode when Nick was going, Stephanie said, 
oh, what, Aaron, say, are you going to say something? Are you going to stick up for someone for once? For she once? Yeah. found <laughs> his weak spot and poured salt in his open wound. And mm -hmm. I just was like, stop that. So I, I don't know. I just, I just felt like you can't say that Rob is the only person manipulating him when you are literally fine, like finding his pressure points and going right after him. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, I'm so glad Aaron fought back here in this moment was like, actually mm, play my yeah. own game. And it's a pretty damn good game. If I do say so myself. Underreported. Stephanie kind of know what she's doing. You know, like that. Let's, oh, she does. We, we haven't really talked about Stephanie as a game player, but the 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 idea that yeah I have to go and drive a wedge between Aaron and his number one allies should not be a novel uh, idea but we've seen in time and time again people don't make these moves they don't yeah. tell the lie right like it's an outright lie it doesn't have any truth in it but what if it works you know like she has been scrappy in this game lately it's the so, yeah, execution even, though that's yeah, the thing like the idea like, yeah. like her gameplay her moves all make sense for what for what she should do given the like lay of the land, but her execution, her bedside manner mm -hmm. lacks and is like, yeah, yeah, that's where it's, we're struggling. Okay. Back on the beach. We're going to see Rob and Aaron have this talk. Uh, Rob is pouring his heart out to Aaron. Hey, I want to go to the end with you. We have to know we've been through. If you can, um, if you can, yeah. if you can, if you can will you pro promise me, Aaron, promise me. And Aaron said, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like so imagine Rob, being yikes. close to and like the response is maybe. That's how this well, felt. A labored maybe too, Rob. Mm -hmm. So at this point, were you still thinking that that maybe was sincere? Or do you think by this time, Rob, uh, Aaron is already warming up to keeping Rob around? Um, I think that... Rob was very much in jeopardy. I, I just feel like that by the time they get to the temple, I almost feel like that Rob seems like he's uh, secure enough. And Stephanie seems to feel like that she is yeah. going to go home. So uh, I feel like by that point, like maybe, but because I, I really have so much respect for Rob and his ability, like, uh, you know, to understand human psychology and what buttons to push with Aaron. He spent so much time with him. Yes, Aaron got the best of him in the, you know, guess which case game, but I really do think that Rob understands him to this point and was able to, you know, push the right buttons to be able to keep Aaron with him at this point. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to show us that conversation no. because we needed the ultimate suspense of what was going to mm -hmm. happen here. So Get I think the that there's, that's Don't definitely play any possible. Games. Yeah, because he hit just, him with the yeah. stick to the plan. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. same. We literally got stick to the plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But meanwhile, Stephanie and Amy are talking and they're saying, Aaron, he's nervous. And Stephanie tells us, Rob is a boil on my ass. <laughs> Since my day ass. One. My <laughs> ass. Since day <laughs> damn one. Um, yeah, I, look, I love this. I, I love this. I love this so much because, you know, again, this is what I like in reality TV. I like people who are very competitive and passionate to win, but also, you know, I like a little drama too. And so, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's a, it's really hard to root for Stephanie at this point because she, I think she has, she has gone complete villain to the world point oh, she's where she's in. lying. Yeah. yeah. She's lying to her allies, lying to her, it, like say her enemies, she's lying to everybody. She's lying to us. Hell. Um, uh, but, um, she she just had it. She's fed up, and she's like, "Hey, this is the time." Like, it's like, uh, this is the make or break moment for Stephanie's game. It really is. The crazy thing is that she's also gonna have another make or break moment next week too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she's so got now is make or break moment. Yeah. Right, like Rob's okay. back is against the wall, but Stephanie's is about uh, back oh, against yeah. the wall. Probably just as much because if Rob's yeah. gone, I think people are looking at Stephanie as like, "All right, you know, Jordan and Amy are both gonna look at Stephanie's direction very quickly." Stephanie okay. has a hard path. Um, what is okay? What's the difference? She she also calls Rob an infected wart on her ass. Is that the yeah. same as a boil? Is a boil an infected wart? I feel like that. Uh, Big Tom had uh some boils. Um, Big Tom, big wart. Uh, big boil. is a is a boil, and uh, a wart. Yeah. Um, um, boils okay. are caused by a bacterial infection. 
Oh, mm. okay. Warts are viral infections. And so that's okay, the difference. so the difference is warts are viral, boils mm -hmm. are bacterial. Mm -hmm. And this is okay. our science corner here on Dealing Gosh, with Gosh, we're learning. Viral. We're I am a woman in STEM right now. I got women math in covered, science. I'm learning so much here on Don Depot. Yeah, minorities in STEM, women in STEM, Rob's in STEM. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Jenny, what'd you make of Joe's shirt at the temple this week? Um, like, wow. Okay, Joe. <laughs> it's funny because, like, it's a tiger head, I think, or a lion head. I can't remember now. It's like a leopard a or a cheetah. I think it's a cheetah. Sort of yeah. But, like, because Joe oozes, uh, you know, like the you opposite know. of a boil. <laughs> boil you. <ew. laughs> Yeah, I hope so. Um, he's got a couple. He's doing the cheeky button move, and the buttons are part of the the big cat's head. So it mm -hmm. did kind of look weird to me because like You're seeing into like, the big cat's head, it was open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right here, so, <laughs> like total. But recall. it was like it was colorful. It was fun. It was definitely like uh, it was a party shirt. Like that was a party shirt. Mm -hmm. Um. So it was. I think I liked his his excursion outfit more. He had like white pants on and like these like black loafers and like a black shirt. Like it was like, it was it was a black and white party on the beach look. Um, a little bit more chic to me. Uh, but you know what? Joe's always bringing the fashion. Like I can't be too mad at it. I'm always ready for his looks. But I like I said before, Kamari and Ben were yeah. extra serving in the like the money green that's why i had to pull up my money green tank tonight like kamari had the eyeshadow to match like they looked hella good tonight fine as hell that's Both fashion corner here <laughs> baddies. i said how y'all do this how y'all because well, i when i did my exit interview with them i oh. really wanted to know what it took to get a job like this and they were like we just fine i said oh okay <laughs> mm -hmm. we're just baddies. really attractive people we're really and attractive they vibe. People. He was like, I, would you, you know pick what? anybody else? And I was like, no, I wouldn't. I think this is a perfect choice. This, it, they are. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay. So Aaron's going to play Deal or No Deal. Okay. And uh, here we go. Case number 10 is uh, what he does. Uh, he's opened a bunch of the cases. Same, the same case. Was that the same case? Because he, he said it was his girlfriend's birthday. And I think that's what he said the first time. So I think he kept the same number as the first time he played okay well he had better luck the first time um mm. then yeah. he uh we found out about his bubby also i guess uh not the first time he's been to temple no yeah who knew i mean he, he slipped it in and was like yeah by the way i'm jewish and uh i got a bubby and i was like cool do mm. this one for bubby uh i think bubby, bubby has five, five letters, letters, letters and that yeah. was why the, like i love like like such a not bubby's birthday not like any other like numerical thing it's just yeah the, the word bubby is bubby. Five it's letters. like yeah okay well this is for uh you my dad uh there's three letters in the word dad so yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> so arbitrary i loved it i love that we got the yeah. bobby reference but what a like, nice five? moment uh <laughs> that he was like uh that okay oh six million he's like well case. that's that's makes sense because she's worth six million yeah, yeah. look my granny just uh, her birthday was just the other day, man. And I mean, she she's worth six million more. She's uh, double whatever infinity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, it just it it it's just I Positive get it. I understand. Infinity. Yeah, I understand. Positive infinity. Yeah, I get it. Go it, makes, and and it, it makes that feel like the sting is Sex. less too when you open up that six million. You're like, you know what? I should have known. You know what? Mm -hmm. That's what Bubby's worth to me. Bubby's yeah. worth um, six okay. for sure. I just thought All the right. Bubby is five letters was so funny. I was like, oh, yeah, man. I'm gonna do that in Wordle tomorrow, Jenny. Bubby. In honor of Aaron. <laughs> Not a great one. Not a great Not one a to really use. <laughs> Not a great people, starter. People I don't still know that it nope. is gonna show up as a word. You might actually oh. just get the People yeah. still wordling. That's a thing. That's a Jenny, oh, every day. Hell. Jenny, Je uh, Jenny turned me on to it with her and Shannon when when, when I was in uh Toronto. Yeah. I, I I do I, it every day now. Hold on, pause. I, I, Rob, I've never lost. I just, I just got Rob, you just started. Yeah. Rob just got in. You I just, just got in Wordle. I just started. He took a yacht. I've got like a five day streak. Yeah. Oh, I never oh, so, did but it on no, my phone. Just, I never did it on my. I never had the app before. Now so I do the connections do every day. Yeah. Safari, I do the mini, I do the mini uh 
It just you, I, I just was very surprised to hear that you were just now getting on the word of no, train. Jenny you know? turned, no, Jenny turned Jenny turned me on to that you do it you do it in the morning when you have coffee. It's a good warm up. I, I like it's a, a good bridge I, to like I'm I'm like Aaron coffee. in the morning. I'm like, I hate my work, I hate email. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, this no. is like work adjacent. It's just like a little brain game when right when the coffee hits and you're like, All right, yeah, let's do Wordle and I'm ready for yeah. the day. Love Boy, it. I, I mean, three weeks ago when I saw Jenny in uh in Toronto, I've got a, a streak at this point. It's got to be at least 18 or 19 days at this point. It better My be or I'm going to check in. Uh, but yeah. you know if what? I see, when I see you in Chicago, Rob, if that if that streak Very is not soon. still going. Yeah. yeah really. Just a couple days. days from now. You just got to keep going a little bit longer. And when I check in on you in about a week's time, yeah. It better still be going because I believe in you. There's been I so want... many good wordles recently. Okay. Yeah, I just I'm one. just shocked that you got in so late, Rob. I, can I interest you in a game called Temple Run? <laughs> oh, what's <laughs> that heard? about? Is Isn't that it, what like, they do at Dawn? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard uh, Angry Birds? Farm <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Fruit Ninja? Fruit Ninja, yeah. Fruit Ninja, that's good. Um, that's good. How do you play? Snake yeah. two. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Minecraft. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, check, out a, I'm gonna check out Among Us tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> my, okay. Minecraft is actually a game that people play. Mine like that's a new game. I was like, Minesweeper is the game you're thinking no, of. And that's literally that's what I meant. Was Minesweeper. Like open up Microsoft Games, baby. We're doing we're doing Minesweeper and then we're moving on to uh what's it? hearts solitaire oh yeah the... solitaire okay. fighter solitaire, solitaire yeah. if you're nasty yeah, yeah. only right. for the nasty ones <laughs> all right let's talk about the deal that's from the banker five hundred eighty nine thousand dollar offer it's basically 50 50 for aaron no deal yeah. no Goes back deal. to work easy no o deal opens up one hundred dollars five hundred dollars five point five million comes off the board and so he gets a offer from the banker one million one hundred nineteen thousand dollars uh now the odds are in his favor two cases are lower one case is higher aaron tells us he has a two out of three chance of being successful now back in the very first a deal or no deal of the season aaron took it all the way through it unlike nick kept the suitcase that he had from the start here he says, you know what? Can't beat these odds. 66%. Two out of three. He Gotta acknowledges that the like it's <laughs> that there's still like a very high, like a, a scary amount of percentage that it doesn't work in his favor. It's yeah, like, one one out of also, three. Yeah. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> it's I mean, still basically in his favor. you're not gonna get better odds uh no. based off of how this board is set up. But Chappelle, that's that's that <laughs> if, you, if you get this far, like we said with Nick, do you have to just go with the case that you picked? Um, I think I, so. Right? I, I guess. I mean, he's playing the odds. You know, he's kind of like the odds are in my favor. It's not great odds. I mean, but it's about as it's going. It's as good as it's going to get. It's better odds mm. than he had last time. So yeah, you you got to take what you got. Um, take what you well, got. And if he says no deal here and he wants to open one one more case. Wait, was he going to be able to open one more? Yeah, he could have gone. Yeah. Final yeah, deal. You, you or... No. You, 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 he, he would um, then open what, one more case. And then I don't think they would give him a deal after. Um, or maybe they do just to have like, okay, if your deal is higher than this number. I guess because they, they, the they gave is, Nick it a deal. Just been between right. whatever Nick got the it down to four point two five million and four point five million, and so they they gave him yeah. a deal that was four point four million, just to have like a number of like you beat the banker's offer or you didn't beat the banker's offer. They don't mm -hmm. do it yeah. like okay do, if you have the higher case you lose, or gotcha. you win. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he would have probably got another deal. Um, but it would have been a true 50 worse 50 odds. at that point. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, worse odds like, for sure. Yes. Yeah. And potentially a reduction of offer? Oh, yeah. No, the number's going down. Yeah. Too. No, because yeah. so, what was still on the board? So it was... Um, well, he had the 3.5, right? He million. had 3.5. And what were the other two cases that were on the board? Um, I never... I, I know one million, was I think, was one of them. 
I think yeah. that that was the that was the thing was that there was uh was it like seven fifty? Well, it was seven fifty, one million, and then three point five. Right, and we know he could not have opened the three point five million because that was going to be was on on. So so his offer would have gone up no matter which case he opened. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So. Yes, the I you know, know the offer probably would have been you know somewhere like it depends on which ones he which one he opens but probably in the neighborhood of like three million dollars. Yeah, but, but do you think that the banker? Okay, so say he say he says no deal. The next the one case that he opens up is the one million, and so okay, the, the, um, so there's I, there's Pro- a seven fifty the, out there and three point five. Could the banker not reduce the offer? And just no, feel like you're, I, I mean, I think that the the like if this is like the banker is being you know true deal or no deal. Like I, yeah, I think the spirit that, of the game is that yeah, the longer you go, think, you stay in. You kind of he wants to well, reward that. Yeah, but yeah. he's gonna give you like an average between the two and probably a little bit on the higher. So he's probably the offer probably would have been like one point eight million. Like uh, even though it you wouldn't have been much job, of an increase. Uh, but, somehow yeah. they you opened the yeah. big case, but. We're gonna. The banker says, "Okay, he likes the cut of your jib. He likes the cut of their jib." I love this banker. You know, it's almost time for us to meet the banker, y'all. Almost. I mean, you know, almost. Yeah. I'm very I'm excited. Ready. All right, hold that thought for a second, Chappelle. All gotcha. right. Uh, so, all right, let's open up the case. Oh, three point five million. Sorry, and my heart sank. It, it w- you could feel the collective heart sinks around America, right? Like it's just like I hate you guys. <laughs> I hate the banker. I hate this. We definitely hate the banker. I was so sad. I, I was really like trying to in my mind I think, wait, like, so Aaron Aaron lost. Like he really <sighs> lost. Like damn. Yeah. So 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 the lights so went he, down. Oh. Yeah, and it, it, but, it, but it was Rob so safe, sad. Though, right? Yeah. Right. And then that was in the back of my head. But- I was like, wait. So Rob Boston Rob is in the final four of this game. Which is insane, y'all. Like, let's just call it what it is. Why is this man right here? How did they let him do this? How does he keep but getting it, away with it, Chappelle? He can't keep getting away with it. Can't keep this is the away thing is, play. like, these last two eliminations have been bittersweet because it was like, okay, Nick went last week. That was ultimately better for Rob, but, like, it wasn't really, like, it was the it was the, you know, I, I mean, I guess it made it easier for competition wise for Rob, but I was like, I was not happy to see Nick go. I was like kind of sad. Um, mm-hmm. And then it's like, yeah, so I, I want Rob to keep having a chance here, but at the cost of Aaron. But I think mm-hmm. that my heart was going to be broken no matter what, because he might have just yeah. taken Rob out. Oh, maybe. And then maybe I, I'm, this is the point where I start crying. Guys. Maybe. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry. you were crying. I, I was crying. I was crying because, and you know what really got me? Because so, so, you know, I can tell, like I said, Joe was really sad to see Nick go. Joe, definitely sad to see Aaron go. And Jordan is crying and, and giving, you know, to t- telling Aaron, like, how proud of him she is. And he played in an amazing way and all of the, all of these things that I think that he needed to hear because a lot of people have been just spending the entire game telling him that he's playing Rob's game. Um, and then what the, the, the nail in the coffin for the tears for me Mm -hmm. was seeing Rob get choked up and I knew it was coming, but it's like when you're, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like Rob. If you cried, you you, you as in Rob Sesternino, If you yeah. cried, I would be an an absolute mess. An absolute mess about anything. Yes. Oh, Jay, just wait till <laughs> Even football about the season notebook? starts. Yeah. Well, then don't show me you crying because I will cry. <laughs> I cried at my massage earlier today because my RMT was telling me about her putting down her cat. Um, oh. I will cry. I cry not the super easiest, but like when people that I see as like my pillar of strength, you know, like the person, like you know, mm-hmm. it absolutely. I don't know what it is. I just like so seeing seeing Rob cry was like oh my god, and it's not like he was like bawling, but to see mm-hmm. him get emotional. And I love when men get emotional. I love it, but also it makes me cry. Here. 
Yeah, because I know he cares about Aaron. That was the thing. We've the best heard him say, yeah, like, yes, he was trying to win a game. Yes, he got frustrated with Aaron at times, but he cares about him. He came over for supper, he damn said it. He he needs Aaron more than uh, he thought. Yeah, and that, I just love He thought his friendship. life was full. <laughs> and that he didn't realize he had room on the roster. For Aaron, he, and he just learned how to spell his name today. <laughs> to adopt two sons, Aaron and Jonathan from Survivor 42, who uh, <laughs> I, ironically are the two most mismatched people in the whole world. Yeah, you can never get them Rob in the boat together. He gonna get a son, uh, whether like whether they like it or not. Like he gonna get one of them. Yeah. He's like, I can't. Like he's the only yeah. thing that he just uh, cannot seem to win. Uh, is that battle hey, right there? Aaron, but, hey, hop in Jonathan's pocket. We gotta go somewhere. Get in, come loser. On, come on, Mister Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> in my pocket you know rob says to Aaron, like you're a good guy uh i'm gonna miss you and i'm proud to know you and i was like oh right in the heart you know just like ah it, i too am going to miss this this friendship here this is one oh. of the good ones it was very fun it was a very fun unlikely reality tv duo um mm -hmm. you know that it, it was the heart of the show the relationship between Rob and Aaron, and uh, I can't believe we got it for ten weeks. We are so lucky. We should not like. Yes, I. I it was. It was very much a don't cry. Uh, yeah, it's the, over. Don't cry that it's, it's over. Not, yeah, because it happened, and mm -hmm. I. That's what got me through the end of the episode. In the tears was that I was like, you know what. I wouldn't cry if I if I hadn't been so blessed to watch this because it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I loved it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. We get a little teaser for next time, okay? Um, that seems like the banker's showing up. Is I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I don't know why. Like, I guess I, I'm an excitable person. You move <laughs> one exciting thing out the way, and I right. look on to the do next we, shiny thing. We talk through of uh, like uh, who would be potential candidates. Uh, we've talked about Howie Mandel. <laughs> yeah, how would it not be that. Howie Mandel? Like, it would, like what other? What would um, be relevant? Although, right, would can be we relevant. talk about the look of the banker, Jenny? It looks like the banker was wearing some kind of like pink suit, some kind of like white loafers. Is that a Howie Mandel look? I think so. How is this? I could see dresser. him rocking it. Like he, yeah, I, I definitely could. I mean, maybe that's his island look, you know, with his, the banker's island. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's been teased so much that I'm like, what else would make sense? Or is it just someone random and famous? Because why would they build this up? Yeah. If it didn't, if it Who was else could nothing. It be? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of how we went down. I mean, who but no seriously who else could it be that would make they would make any type of impact, right? Unless it's just like, uh, well, you know, Joe Maganello's the host, but we've brought in Sookie Stackhouse, you know, like um, <laughs> I, uh, Bill Compton. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, yeah. what if it's Jeff Probst and he said, Oh, my I'm God. The I don't think you can cross yeah. the streams, mm, cross the streaming platforms. Oh, okay. I also, yeah, we're on the wrong network would, here. That's just the part of me that is dying to imagine him wearing this outfit. <laughs> what if it's Lex Vandenberg? Oh, my but God. That'd be pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, He's I like, I die. came here for I one. Only you just a snack. I'd be so excited though, because I love Lex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it's gotta All be right. Howie, right? Like, but nothing else be. makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, well, okay. we want to hear if you have a if if anyone else I think has it's a got compelling argument that's in the peacock verse, right? The mm. NBC, like, could it uh, be Alan Cumming? Oh, uh, not wearing not possible. wearing those shoes. He might. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, not my Alan coming. Okay. Alan, <laughs> Alan be dressing. Okay, it let me just see. His, okay. But we've seen a Scotland wardrobe. He oh, might like have a different wear? beach look. His okay. young Man, can I, can I, <laughs> there's got to be synergy, right? So who are the stars of NBC? Alan Cumming. 
Alan he's coming. The, I think okay. he is like the face of what NBC reality like shows are right now. But yeah, he's that Peacock, peacock reality. This is, and this like, is on NBC, Chappelle. Oh, could it be NBC somebody? Show. NBC right. Peacock. All right, universe, let me give you. All right, we are on right after The Voice. Okay. Okay. Oh, could it be, could is it be it Blake Shelton? All right, could it be? Any he's of, not even on The Voice right now. He's not even on The Voice anymore. But okay. he's the biggest mainstay of The Voice. Okay. Or is it Carson Daly? No, I, uh, <laughs> could be okay. Uh, could it be uh, Chance the Rapper? N not in those shoes, <laughs> okay. John Legend. Probably in those shoes, but why would John Legend be the banker? Is this John well, Legend? This is so Reba random. Yeah, Reba's not wearing hmm. those shoes either. It's hmm. like. Okay. Ice tea. Uh, and ice tea time. It was right there for okay. the whole time. Okay. I thought about this last week when we were talking about um who wouldn't respect the pearl necklace. And I was like, Ice T does love a good pearl necklace, but not like this. Mm. And then I was like, and I also they keep mentioning T over and over again. He's kind of yeah. nagging them a little bit. He is a star of NBC. I thought about Ice T last okay, week, but I couldn't like, figure out how to work my pearl necklace. I've, got, I've got one for you. I've got okay. one for you. Okay. Jimmy Fallon. Boo! Tomato! Jimmy Fallon! Boo. Jimmy Fallon boo, 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 one of the faces of NBC. Longtime Survivor fan. Invented mm. the Rob and Sandra hideout on the edge of extinction. That's a different network, though. The no Rob and like Aaron that. hideout. <laughs> and Jimmy Fallon's on NBC. But I'm talking about the Survivor tie-in. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's like, fine. Don't... But, but that, that, hey, Jimmy Fallon, you want to see Boston Rob? You want to come out here and do the gag? Yeah. For he loves he loves bits. He does he love loves... it. I I like Jimmy Fallon a lot. I just feel like that would be so underwhelming because it just feels like this is a Howie Mandel spot to me. I don't know. I I don't yeah. know. I love the I like the think tank of who else would make sense. George Lopez. He ain't wearing them shoes. Hmm. I love I love that everything is just about who would wear these shoes. You know that's my favorite topic in the world. Like uh, show, give True. me shoe pictures. You do know yeah. shoes. Mm -hmm. so, Lester like, Holt. Who? Yeah, Rob, you lost us. <laughs> yeah, Seth Myers. Oh, I'm that would be you the, fun. The faces okay. of NBC. Yeah, that would be fun. Who, Seth Myers, NBC, Jimmy like, Fallon would be uh, fun. Uh, mm hmm. Round, Mount Rushmore of NBC. Yeah. Who are you putting on the Mount it, Rushmore? You don't think it could be Jane Lynch, do you? <laughs> oh, that would be perfect. She would wear those shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd be really thrown off if it was Jane Lynch. <laughs> yeah, but, fun, so. but she's I don't think so any, funny. anybody from Law and Order. Is there is there any NBC uh, show coming up next? Like what's what's hot next on NBC? Um, what's hot next? Like what's yeah, coming like, up? Like in could June? they be promoing somebody else? You know, like as like an intro to like is it is it one of the is it the bonus Jonas? You know, is he popping up or something but that's, like that? That's you know? ABC. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I'm looking for that like equivalent to like what could be the next mm -hmm. show on NBC to where it's like, oh yeah, oh, like you thought, okay. you thought we were all done. Right, all, right, all right, here we go. All right. So that's this is good thinking, Chappelle, because we know famously on NBC summertime, AGT, also Howie Mandel. So yeah. I think that, that does that does uh lend a little bit to uh back to Howie, but also it, okay. It just makes sense. Also I don't think it's Sophia Vergara. Okay. No. Uh, okay. I still um, think it's a, I think it's a man, but all right, all right. How, okay. Tom Brokaw. No, Tom, it's not Tom Brokaw. Simon <laughs> Cowell. Oh, he would make a good banker. He would actually, but okay. then we'd want to hear from him. All right. We'd want to hear. How, we right, let me give you. An, let going. me give you. An, Simon Cowell's interesting. Okay. How okay. about Terry Crews? In those shoes. I just feel like I could see him wearing that pink uh, suit, though. Yeah, no, no, for sure. The pink suit, yes, but them, those shoes are just like it. Just don't give me Terry Crews vibes. I could be mm -hmm. wrong, but I just to me, I, I maybe I, I wanted more for my Terry Crews appearance. Yeah, I just okay. think that like if you're getting like you're only using Terry Crews for just this like one little reveal. I don't know. I just I can I can imagine Terry Crews how he loves being a guest star on things. That's true. That is a good point. Um, and he, he's he does. done some of the rounds, but I, I, I just, I'm having a hard time a getting a great job of Mandel. nailing all of the potential candidates for the judge. 
I'd be very surprised if the judge is not, uh, or I'm sorry, the the banker is not on this list of people that we've mentioned. Oh, like snap. it's gotta it's be Julie Chen's music, and she comes out. Like, oh my yeah. god! Do we think there's any oh, percent no. chance it could be a woman? I mean, that no. that Joe has ever said he he. He's been he. saying he he like. Um, I I can't imagine. Um, but you know, we could. There could always be a blind side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I want it to have impact. Like I want the person for them to all be like, oh, no. you know what I'm saying? Like when you get like the, the too hot to handle reveal or something like that. Like that's what I want. So and I think so. Howie Mandel, we know that the one through line between all these people is that they all are fans of deal or no deal. So if my, yeah. in my mind, or maybe, maybe it's like an iconic deal or no deal uh, contestant. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like a, but like a fan there? favorite. Yes, of course. Yeah. Fan favorite John Carpenter from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. We're like, oh, snap, it's you. You know, like we okay. all know you because we all watched you on the show. All right. It's Howie. Chappelle's got a must listen to interview with Aaron with one R coming up on Tuesday. And then next week, don't want to tip our hand too much. Uh, we've got a pretty exciting episode coming up next week. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Can't say, I'm not allowed to say anything else. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So All right. Love it, on here. Don't unsubscribe Thanks. now, baby. Yeah, it's not time yet. Thank you. All Listen, right. the, the Dondi fans, the real ones, the ones who be in the comments telling me and Jenny that we can't count. Thank y'all for being here. We do appreciate that all the listeners, because we've been preaching the gospel of this show for weeks and everybody who's been chiming in, giving feedback in the comments, in the chat. We really do appreciate y'all being a yeah. part of this because I don't get to hit or quit often, but when I am hitting, I love when I'm hitting and quitting uh, with y'all. Yes. Jenny, you coined the Millie gang. What's the name for our Dondi fam? Dondi. Dondi. Um, oh. The Dondi. Dondies. The Dondies. Crocodile Dondies. The Crocodile Dondies. The Dondies. Um, yes. <laughs> I don't know because I mean I've said I've I've I'm fond of Dondi I'm fondy of Dondi but like fondy, the Dondi I don't know wow I'm I'm off my game I don't really know what the it's just like the Dondi squad all right I'm know. gonna give you a sec like, give you a minute to think about it while yeah. I ask Chappelle what else he's got coming up yeah well you can find me on recapkickback.com podcasting about whatever the hell i want to talk about and so recently uh we've had a lot of good programming on there check it out i mean you can see abbott elementary coverage you can see uh martha's vineyard uh summer house martha's vineyard coverage of on there weekly content from me mari and tyrone and whatever aspect we were, we've talked about beyonce this season we've talked about uh the the movie shirley on netflix we've talked about good times we just talk about whatever i want to talk about and it's a great time so follow at recap kickback wherever you get your podcast and on all social media platforms as well and then check me out here on rhap again talking about below deck on the Bravo Rappos feed and live with Sasha every Wednesday. Uh, still doing Netflix coverage on the Nothing But Netflix podcast. Doing uh, Survivor coverage with Rob Sestanino here on Club Condo. It's been a wild season of Survivor, a wild season of Dondi, and we're talking about it all here on RHAP. So, you know, subscribe to all of those podcast feeds. And, of course, follow me on Twitter at Recap Kickback. Yeah. When did we start Dondi? Back in January? Been a long time. Been a no. long time. Is it January was February. 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 Yeah. 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 Wow. I mean, we're episode a week, and we're down to the final five. It started off yeah. with thirteen. It's almost people, summer. You know? Wow. Yeah. Oh my okay. god. Final I love four. All summer. <laughs> yes. Yay. Okay. All right, Jenny. Any anything? I mean, like, could could it just be the like the briefcase brigade? A brigade. Well, the briefcases. Um. I, I don't know. I think that this is one that I'm gonna need some uh, some assists. Yeah. From. All right. Let us know in the let us know in the yeah, comments. Yeah. If you have a good one, like if you have a good Dondi like name. Yeah. Did you notice that Joe calls them the guests? Mm. Is this new? Mm. I just noticed it because they're on a like, resort, right? Because they're doing yeah. a yeah. his private so, yeah. island. It's yeah. his private island. So mm -hmm. um, I just thought it was funny. Like he doesn't refer to them as like contestants or like players. He calls them guests. So I don't know. We could, you could even just be like the Dondi guests, but like, yeah, mm. I don't know. We'll, I we'll feel work. like we'll I work. We'll, we'll, we'll work. We'll, we'll work. Mean more it. to me we'll, than we'll, just yeah. guests. Okay. Yeah. By the finale, we'll get this. Okay. We'll get All there. Right. And, All right. and we've been yes. promoting, applying for Dondi season two. Yes. So yeah. 
I'm really hoping we get it. Okay. Hopefully they open the door to Canadians, Jenny. Yeah. I don't know if the door is shut, but Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, (laughs) Check out the exit interview and uh, looking forward to next time. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.